I'm about to meet Terry Crews. He plays the dad in Everybody Hates Chris. He's also an artist, a singer, a dancer. He's the dude in the old Spice commercials, and he used to play professional football. Now, I'm in a park, so I thought, what better thing to do than prepare him the classic Kiwi picnic? Terry Crews, hey. pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. People in New Zealand definitely know you from Everybody Hates Chris, but that's the small part of your whole career. I mean, I was reading you kicked off, what, as an artist? And I wanted to get into graphic design, and I actually thought I was going to do special effects for movies. You know, Star Wars, my favorite movie. And it's funny, I knew I was going to be in the entertainment industry. I didn't know I was going to be an actor. A friend of mine invited me to an audition. It was a TV show called Battle Dome. Battle Dome! Which was like, uh, <laughs> it was almost like, remember that show American Gladiators where people would battle against, you know, warriors and or normal people? And yeah, it was the same setup except we tried to kill them. It was <laughs> Watch next week's Battle Dome. I played this character named T Money. Oh, it's getting a wedgie. It's getting a full butt slap. Oh, so this was real deal show. Oh, the, the name of the show said Battle Dome and it said Real Warriors. Real pain. It's all about the ability to take tremendous amounts of pain. I've always been able to just get run into a wall and get back up. I'm like a cartoon. I'm a human cartoon. And I put an extension cord in my mouth when I was like two years old. Boom! Blew it up. <laughs> I got electrocuted. And ever since then, I always thought I had superpowers. Again, it was just taking pain. And then, uh, I got a job on a, a movie called with Schwarzenegger called The Sixth Day. It was my first movie I ever did. Then I had to learn how to act because I hadn't done the real acting. Will you be my mommy? I didn't know what I was doing, but I think that worked for me because I was humble enough to actually ask and say, what do I do, you know? But it's a different buzz. You can't run around a film set trying to kill people. Like, no, like, not, not, like at all, not at all, not at all. You won't be in this business long, you know? I'll never forget having to face Arnold eye to eye the first time. And then all of a sudden, he looks at me, he says, what, what are you doing? Why, how are you, what are you doing? And, and I went, I froze. I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything. And I was like, I went back and went off again. I said, man, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. What are you doing? <laughs> and I came back. And Arnold did the same thing, like, what are you doing? I said, hey, man, what's going on? And Arnold was like, yeah, that was great, that was good. And I broke through my fear, and I never was, I never had that again. I just had the privilege and honor of working with the best. Every time I turn around, you know, Eddie Murphy called, he wanted me to do Norbit, and, you know, when Chris Rock, when I, we hung out on the set of Longest Yard, and he's like, man, I got something for you, I got something for you. Turns around, I get the script for Everybody Hates Chris. And he wants me to play his father. And it just blew, blew me away. That went for, you know, for four years. It was just a great show. And I've just been honored to, to, get, to be in great projects with good people. Hey, well, you played some angry roles in your time. You do a good angry face. What? How rare. You know, I come up from Flint, Michigan. It was a very, very tough, tough, tough city. And you had to learn to have a tough face just to survive. In the movies, and when you become a bit of a celebrity, it's very easy to have a lot of yes men around. You actually need someone to tell you no, I that's, suppose. That's like. it, man. I don't go with the entourage. Some people enjoy being in that fake world. And um, I just thank God I got five kids. Uh, that will keep you real. Wife, and that keeps it real, man. When your little boy's throwing up on you, yeah. <laughs> you can't be cool, you know what I mean? Look, I'm saying you got some mean dance moves. Oh, yeah. You, you, well, look, hey, I do got you the reckon moves. I need to move in my repertoire. Do you reckon you could show me a move? I can show you some moves right now, man. What do you got? What do you need? Reach up, grab it, pull it down. That's okay. my move. You know, that, now, that's, that's jazz, but you need to put a little hip in it. Uh, uh, you got to work it. That's, that's, uh, loosen that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shake that booty. Okay, now see, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah. So you gotta be, I have to be very careful. It's like a weapon. It is a weapon. Like you a should weapon. even, you should take that to the police station like and register. <laughs> I even worked the chest in there. Let's see, these are special effects. These are CGI. <laughs> then you hit them with a little robot action. Uh, 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 uh. What's Squeegee Low all about? I've always had skills with the moves because I was a break dancer in high school and the whole thing. And I want to incorporate dance in, in, in the biggest, best way I could. So I created this character, Squeegee Low, and now I can dance. 
squeegee though, can dance all day. So I wouldn't mind talking a bit about NFL. You're a linebacker, I mean, you're taking a lot of hits. Was a, I, my big highlight, I was knocked out on Monday Night Football. I got up and I didn't know where I was. I've never been high or been on drugs, but it was the closest I ever been. It was like, that actually felt good. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I do, but because the NFL, we find it quite hard to understand because we play rugby with no pads. I look at that sport, man. That takes nothing but guts. <laughs> I want to go to New Zealand, play rugby with the big boys, and oh, just try it out. Trust me, we've got some big boys. We've got I some know. big island boys. <laughs> They'll sort you out. I know, I know. I've, I've seen it. I'm travelling the world getting people to write one line from a story and somehow it's going to make sense at the end. There we go. I don't know. She farted on the table. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not eating out of that table afterwards. However, you've been in the NFL. I've played a bit of rugby. I wouldn't mind just chucking the ball around for a bit. You can yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. I haven't done it in a while. Come on. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's rugby style. Look, I'm going to New Zealand on you right now. It's your rugby. Uh, show me one. Uh, uh, uh. Go, 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 go! Hey, see you later, New Zealand. Mm. 